Chomini uh, and quench test. So, five minute. You please look at the board because if you see the last five to six years of gate gate questions uh, in the previous discussion, how four lines changes, it's the effect of that particular line. Some details I will give you now, but it's the effect of alloy content you are. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, if you see the eutectoid composition, five minutes, everybody will look at their screens. If you see the uh, TTT diagram, if you see the TTT diagram, Faster cooling is martenazide. Martenazide plus paralyte. Fine paralyte. <laughs> Coarse paralyte. That's how the my microstructure is going to change. Yeah, Ramjashmi, you are Sophia. Yeah. So that's what the microstructure is going to change. <coughs> so as I discussed previously. my cooling rates are increasing in this direction <coughs> my cooling rates are increasing in this direction okay na? so Jomini conducted one test Jomini conducted one test <coughs> so the sample is like this this is the sam <coughs> sample of Chomini. Everybody should look carefully. I will dictate few sentences. It is a uh, uh, all the four lines will change. For all uh, see uh, by varying percentage of carbon, three line will change. Decomposition is start MS and MF. But if you alloy, add alloys, all four lines will change. You are okay, no? but your questions are valid. Just wait for half an hour. Okay. Today's info level is a little low. <laughs> Just taken to low. Okay, now. Uh, so now this sample is capped over a hinge like this. Sample is capped over a hinge like this. Uh. And the temperature of sample is 750 degrees centigrade. The temperature of the sample is 750 degrees centigrade. Okay. Uh, and from bottom, we are throwing cold water. We are throwing cold water on this end. We are throwing cold water on this surface. From bottom. We are throwing cold water on the surface, okay? So, because this this layer is coming in contact with the cold water, this layer <coughs> is coming in contact with the cold water, so this uh, layer will experience a higher cooling rate <laughs> better you uh, please focus okay it's a little technical and everybody should understand it okay na? so please take it seriously okay na? Uh, because this surface is coming in direct contact with water so cooling rates will be high and higher cooling rate you will get martenazite correct so on this surface you will get martenazide you will get <coughs> martenazide
so when we are going on this side let us say x when we are going from this end toward this end of the sample cooling rates will decrease cooling rates will decrease <coughs> fastest cooling rate will be here so as we are going away from the free end cooling rates will decrease so lower cooling rate you know this we have already discussed let us say 20 percent ferrolite 80 percent martensite and let us say this 70 percent ferrolite 30 percent martensite correct now and at this point there will be 100 percent ferrolite that's what that's what will happen so as we are going away let us say 20% ferrolite, 80% martensite. Go little far. Let us say this point 50% ferrolite and 50% martensite. Go little far. Let us say 90% ferrolite, 10% martensite. And let us say here 100% ferrolite. Because the cooling rates are decreasing, mass fraction of ferrolite will increase. Uh, martensite is very hard, ferrolite is soft. Ferrolite is soft. So if you draw a curve, if you draw a curve between this distance x, x is the distance from the free end and hardness. Uh, hardness and distance x. The curve will be like this. This hardness versus x, this will be the curve. Uh, and this curve is called <coughs> hardenability curve. A hardenability curve. Uh, this curve is called a hardenability curve. Hardenability is the ability of material to transform into martensite. And from the free end, this distance. This distance from the free end, wherever there is a 50% ferrolite and 50% martensite, <coughs> this distance is called Jomini distance. JD. It is called Jomini distance. So here, Jomini distance is like this. Jomini distance is like this. JD. And JD will tell you what is the hardenability of the material. If the JD value is more, it means material is more hardenable. Like material is more hardenable. Let us say this is the hardenability curve for eutectoid composition. This is the hardenability curve for eutectoid composition. Uh. Because only you should remember, <coughs> only eutectoid composition will produce 100% martensite. Only eutectoid composition will produce 100% martensite. Eutectoid composition produces 100% ferrolite as well. So only the eutectoid composition will produce 100% martensite. And the moment you are deviating from the eutectoid composition, <coughs> the moment you are deviating from the eutectoid composition, you will get a prophase. So both for hypo and hyper eutectoid steel, curve will go down. Whether it's a hypo or hyper eutectoid steel, 
in both the cases curve will go down it means for hypo and hyper eutectoid steel hardenability is less you know why you know why the hardenability is less because in both the curves uh, because in both the curves one second will be somewhere here and the nose appears at less than one second so the critical cooling rate critical cooling rate will be much higher than the eutectoid composition what is the critical cooling rate this temperature minus this temperature divided by this time this temperature minus this temperature divided by this time is called critical cooling rate because the nose appears much before one second nose appears before one second so critical cooling rate will be high and higher the critical cooling rate lower will be the hardenability higher is the critical cooling rate lower will be the hardenability